Hello y'all, in this video we are going to play through the Battle of Falkirk scenario in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. It is the final mission in the William Wallace campaign. With that out of the way, let's go to the intro. The only way that we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself is sworn to join our forces. Together, we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. Our main objectives are to build a castle and destroy the English castle. We have hints. Hint says we're restricted to a population limit of 100. The scenario uses, uses advanced uses the advanced commands interface and different civilizations have different strengths blah 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 scots have decent infantry because they're fast your scouts report where scots to me is red the english and we are aided by william wallace who is yellow let's close this out the english can attack at any time you have some walls already but we should complete them as soon as you have enough stone i mean we have enough stone we have like 500 so let's go ahead and send a villager down to the south and to the southeast. Let me see here. Southeast. And it'll get to work on that. Put some villagers on gold. Need villagers on farms. Work on that. Let's get wheelbarrow. Bring that up so we have more resources. Get double bit axe. We have villagers on the wood. So they're staying busy there. We have our army. I don't waste stone on a tower. I ain't gonna put stone down for it. I'm just gonna use a gate. I'm just gonna build a castle when I need to. So we have our crossbowmen. Where are the English at? They're at oh, we have outposts down here. The English are coming out to attack. If we lose those outposts, we'll lose some line of sight, but it's whatever. We, just, we already know enemies are basically going to be out there in the wild, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and go to the Castle Age, because I think that's what the scenario wants us to do. Let's go to the Castle Age now, advancing to the Castle Age. And we got to build a castle, we got to destroy the English castle. I believe the English base is down here somewhere in that general vicinity. So our gate is being built. We're going immediately up to Castle Age. Which I hope it works out for us. So we can build a castle. Let's move one of these villagers to stone. Put them on stone. It will immediately be on that. I'm hoping to have a, to be able to build a castle by the time we get up to the castle age. There's a longbowman. Good thing we built that gate. Take out that Englishman. So here's the buy and sell interface at the market. We're not going to use it right now. Yes, we're doing that. We're going to the castle age. Go build a wall over here, please. Put this other villager off of gold and put them on stone. And get stone mining, the technology called stone mining. Because it makes stone mining not take as long. It makes them go faster, essentially. So we're going to research that tech. Wall is going up. So we click on a unit here, like crossbow, men and arms, whatever, they all have the same interface. So you have... You can also command a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another game. Congratulations. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege worker to make battering rounds and other siege weapons. We'll do that in a little bit. Not right now. I gotta do that and build a castle and get more villagers. So let's get some villagers. Go ahead and do that. Get more wood. Because we only have two people on wood and we're armed. We're going to use up a lot of these farms. For sure. Take this villager off of stone. Have him build a siege workshop down here. 
We're going to use the advanced command interface to have our units patrol this wall. They're going to patrol this wall, this entrance to our base. So there's a spearman in our base. We didn't build the wall fast enough and he got in. We'll go take care of him. Give him a good greeting from the Celts, from the Scots. He is dead. Yeah, we'll have these some rants for that. Yeah, you go on wood, I mean on food. So we have a decent amount of lumberjacks now. Let's get bow, bow saw to get villagers to chop wood faster. So we have five villagers on wood. We have enough villagers for stone. Let's go ahead and build this castle. Put it next to our entrance, our main entrance. We have a blacksmith, can't really use that right now. Take this villager to build this wall. And they can go back over here to this stone mine. So we're gonna have a siege workshop, it's up. And so is the, well, we haven't built the castle yet. It will take some time, but we'll get it up there. Let's get more villagers, because we need more of an eco to build an army, which is very important in a game about winning wars in the Middle Ages. So that villager is going back to our base. And the English keep attacking stuff, because of course they, are. they have a battering ram. That's a little overkill, don't you think? You're using a battering ram on an outpost. Like, what do you, come on now. You already, it's gonna die. I can't exactly shoot out arrows. So let's put this villager on the farm. We're doing good with resources so far. Put this villager, no, this new villager on gold. That castle will be ready soon. Let's get fletching from the blacksmith to increase the range of our crossbowmen and our castles and towers and whatnot. We have no towers, but the castle's range will be important because the bigger range a unit has, the more ability it will have to attack any enemy units that come nearby it. So castle is at 77 percent. It's going up. It will be ready eventually. And 80 percent. That's going to be ready. Take some time, but we'll get it up there. We've lost the majority of our outposts, with the exception of the one on the far left. And on the far right parts of the map, the English sort of just destroyed everything else. Oh, we have a battery ram at our base. Get away with that. We get some battery rams. We get some woad raiders. It's interesting they made the Celts. They call this civilization the Celts instead of the Scots. That's a huge army. Wow. Here's William Wallace, the man of the hour. We need him. Let's drive back these English. Drive the English back. But yeah, it's fascinating that they chose to call this civilization Celts instead of the Scots. I mean, if you call them Celts, they can represent the Welsh, they can represent the Irish. Okay, we need more world raiders. Can we lost our wall to the English? So we're going to have to watch out for any more English raids. Take this villager, put them down to build a wall. Where's the English now? Oh, it's a long bow. We'll send a couple cavalry to kill them. Let's get a monk. Use these paladins. Those are the toughest knight line cavalry in the game. Like at the stable, you can recruit knights, and the cavalry is... The paladins are the highest level for that. So we gotta get a few more road raiders, maybe. We have quite the army built up. I would like to get a monk. We're gonna do that. We'll build a monastery. We have a couple rams. Might get a few petards, I don't know. We can go on the offensive now. Yes, we need to do that. Let's go find the English base. It's somewhere around here. I think over 
that's the entry that's the shallows we gotta cross to find the English base. So William Wallace and his army is gonna go fight. And the Battle of Fulkirk, which is the scenario, the name of this scenario, what it's based off of, is it originally took place it took place in real life in twelve ninety eight, just to give you an idea of the date of this event. It was the English versus the Scots, led by William Wallace, like in this scenario. Where's that spearman going? You're just gonna get shot by something. Whatever, I'll, I'll take that. Most of those shallows. I wonder if it matters if William Wallace dies or not. I don't think it does. In some Age of Empires 2 scenarios, you will instantly lose if the hero of the scenario dies. Put some people in the mines, get forging. No more money for an army. Our army's all down here. Can we use William Wallace to just scout out the enemy defenses? Let's do that, because he regenerates health anyway. They have a tower. Bring up the ram. Yeah, just bring up the ram. And they're not going to send out any units to attack us. Just bring in the rams. Get more road, la road raiders. More villagers, maybe. Put one on farm. How are we doing down there? Oh, they are attacking the rams. That's not good. William Wallace, go be useful. Move the rams back. Move the rams back. Reposition them. Or just hold the gate. Hold the gate. Hold the gate. Oh, no. We don't got arson either, so... Whatever. Move everything back. We're going to lose some cavalry, probably. Archers don't really do much damage to battering rams and calls. It's the AI. They're going to micro on them. So that's to our benefit because if they attack the rams and not attack our infantry that might shoot at them, we'll be fine there. We're about to lose our rams. We have a road raider who made it in. He's going to take out some longbowmen with his axe. Look at him go. Those longbowmen don't stand the chance because they're not focusing on him at all. Get that ram down. I mean, get the gate down, please. We got that monk coming in. I'm going to build a closer barracks or something. Do we have arson? No, we don't. We should probably get that. That would be probably very nice to have. That one road raider killed the majority of those longbowmen. So we're in. Focused on destroying everything, guys. Go crazy. Go, road raiders. Go raid things. Just burn it down. Torch this base. We have a monk here to at least heal some of our troops. We can kill these longbowmen because we can tank the damage. The English are making units, but it's not going to make a difference here. And the English longbowmen have been ran down. There's their villagers. We'll come back to them in a little bit. Let's just destroy these defenses first. Move deeper into this base. I think the castle's up on some rocks or something. I'm not too certain about that, though. Where's a villager at? I just need to take a villager who's not busy right now. And just put them somewhere. Let me put down a siege workshop. Put that there. And we are torching this base. It's going very well for us. World Raiders are doing a terrific job. Paladin's doing wonderful. That monk is doing his best to heal our troops. Where's William Wallace at? Did I lose him? He's off burning something, I think. We are raiding, destroying a English lumber camp, which is just a collateral damage of this attack. Longbowman's attacking us. Let's use our cavalry. We have a villager coming in to build a siege workshop because we need more rams. we got to find this castle. I think they're up. Yeah, that's the castle. we got to kill the castle. That's what we got to do. Nothing else matters but the castle. Let's get arson from the barracks. I forgot to get that. I think arson was added in the definitive edition. It wasn't in Age of Empires 2 HD or in the original, but it is useful if you just want to burn down buildings. It has its uses. Stay away from that place. Don't go to the... Stay away from the town center. We don't need that. Where is William Wallace? Did he die? No, he's right there. What am I doing? I'm going crazy. Charge in. The castle's not focusing on our infantry. They're focusing on the ram. So it's going to attack those rams while our troops attack it. I mean... Try to siege down the castle. One ram is dead. That's not good, but whatever. We're just going to keep a steady stream of rams coming in now with that siege workshop built. There's William Wallace. He's going to attack some random English villager who just picked a bad day to go and see her 
I don't know, see her town. So the castle is going to burn soon. Let's send in some monks. Put them real close. To get outside of the minimum range of that castle. I hope it doesn't have ballistics or chemistry or anything like that. No, it's not that. It's not those techs, but there's a technology in this game that makes it so ranged buildings can shoot down when a unit is really close to it. Castles and towers have it, but whatever, whatever, forget it. The castle is almost dead. Scotland is nearly victorious. Almost there. There we go. It's done. When the Wa William Wallace has done it. He's burning down a house, but his units did it. His army accomplished it. And we have won this battle in real life for the sake of knowing what actually happened. William Wallace and the Scots lost the Battle of Falkirk. But with that said, let's go to the outro. It looks certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious. The English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one shall be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he is but one man, he inspires great deeds in others. Many of the Scottish knights and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forced of course in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will fear. With that scenario over, we have completed the William Wallace campaign in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.